All right. I'm Steve Eberle, and I'm technology manager here at the Media Studio, uh, the Media and Studio Arts uh, group here at the Data Science Center. And we have a lot of resources here for you. Uh, and a lot of these resources aren't always visible if you're upstairs or on the third floor or walking by the building. They're behind doors. They're in closed studios. And I'm here to share those with you today because I think there's a lot of exciting opportunities uh, as you work and design your project, your proposal, you might want to think about these spaces and resources as something that you could use. So we like to think that uh, we have all everything you need for your production uh, from conception to completion, from the very moment you're thinking about it, you're brainstorming it, all the way up to when you're rolling it off to tape or uploading it to YouTube or putting it into your presentation. And I'm going to walk you through these different spaces. And if you want to learn more about it, we have a lot of people here that can help you. So what are the studios? Uh, we have content creation spaces such as audio studios and video studios. We have uh, post-production audio and video editing suites. We do workshops, training. We do one-on-one -on -one consultations. And we have a lot of knowledgeable and experienced staff, many of them in the room here tonight, which you'll have a chance to talk to after uh, these sessions. So let's start with some of our audio resources we have here in the building. And these kind of scale up as far as access, but they're available to everybody who is student, faculty, or staff here on campus. So it doesn't really matter if you have no skills in audio production or video production. Uh, if you want to learn how to use one of these spaces, if you have a project that might benefit from one of these spaces, come talk to us and we'll help you get started. So uh, the first thing I want to show you is uh, our Groundworks recording booth. Uh, if you're familiar with Groundworks, this is a lab on the first floor, just beyond the doors here towards the information desk. And in that lab, we have a recording booth where it's very simple to record audio narration and uh, video. So if you're doing like a, uh, a narration over your video or if you're doing a capture of your desktop for a presentation, this is an ideal space. Uh, it's in a space with consultants that could help you and you get access to it with just one half hour worth of training. Then moving on up, we have three audio studios, the first of which is the Electronic Music Studio, which is just outside our studio to the right down the hall. And each room, each of these studios does something slightly different and they get a little bit more complex and they scale up depending on your project. Uh, but what's really great for, for people who want to learn how to use these resources is you start using the, the Studio A and once you kind of get used to it and you've taken those workshops, you could go into Studio B, take those workshops, get some experience, and move all the way up to the, the large studio. So this is Studio A. This is a pretty simple studio, even though it looks pretty complex. Uh, it's really designed to configure to the way you want to work. Uh, there's multiple applications you could choose from, different configurations of hardware. And we show you how to use this space during a workshop. It just takes a few hours. And then we move up to a, another studio. This is Studio B. This is an exciting studio because actually you can work in surround sound from like 5.1, 7 to 8 speakers around. And this studio is used a lot of times for people who are doing mastering of audio, but also creating immersive audio uh, for things like VR and augmented reality. So uh, video game audio, this is uh, things that happen in this space. And then of course we have our large audio studio, which is just outside these doors uh, next to the video studio. And this, this audio studio is probably one of the top audio studios at any educational uh, uh, place like University of Michigan or any other college. Uh, it's probably as good as any professional studio uh, here in the United States even. Um, and you could get access to this. You could work with our staff uh, if you would like to propose a project or if you want to learn how to use it or work with a student who knows how to use this space, we'll help you get access to it. Um, different in this space than the other studios is that it has a large recording space uh, so you can have a band or artists or performers being recorded and there's isolation rooms as well and a sort of microphones. Uh, we do everything from here from classical recordings to jazz recordings to, to vocals, uh, all sorts of types of music. Uh, we have a piano in the space so you could use. All right, so let's move over to some video production resources uh, we have for you. Uh, one of the easiest we have we call the personal studio. It's a small room that has everything you need to produce a video without really knowing how to do that. Uh, all the lights are pre-configured, the cameras are pre-configured, the audio is already set up for you. All you need to do is go into space and deliver your lines, your presentation, 
and you can record yourself. And when you're done, it records it to a hard drive and you can take it with you. You can stream to YouTube or any other streaming platform you might want to at the same time. Um, and it's kind of fun because there's green screens and there are different backdrops. So if you want to make yourself look like you're in different environments, this is a very easy place to do that. Um, it's a lot of fun. And you can get access to this space. Uh, we do workshops for it every day, or actually uh, four times a week. Uh, and I'll show you how to get more information about that in a little bit. Um, but one half hour, and you'll have access to this location. And then we have the video studio, which is the space we're in right now. And I think really the best way to show you what happens in here is I have a short video I'm going to play for you. Um, this space is a high demand space, uh, just keep that in mind. So if you have a use or a project you want to do in here, sometimes you have to propose it weeks or months in advance. So the best thing to do is really talk to somebody like myself or one of the staff people here, and we can help you kind of get through that process. So I'm going to hit play here, and you can see some of the things that happen in the studio. So one of the things I really like about the video studio, and it kind of goes for all the spaces here, is that you don't need to know how to use a space like this. Uh, if you have access, if you do a proposal and you gain access to use the video studio, you'll be working with staff the entire time. We'll meet with you before the production. We'll meet with you during the production. We'll even meet with you afterwards to help you edit and combine it all together into a finished product. So all these spaces, we have people here to help you. So. Uh, You'll learn how to use those things, these spaces, along with us as, as we work with you as collaborators. So we have all these locations for you to produce content. Uh, we have some locations for you to do the post. And we have video editing suites. We have three of them here in the building. Um, and these rooms are equipped with all the different video editing applications you want, uh, image manipulation programs, audio editing software. Um, and they're reservable, so you get access to these rooms uh, just by attending one of our half-hour orientations that we do daily. 
the best part about the multimedia rooms, and this is probably if you're used to trying to find computing uh, resources here on campus, is sometimes it's hard to get access to it. It's hard to have a place that's quiet and private. These rooms have doors. Once you make a reservation, you let yourself in and you're secluded. You can completely focus on your project and nobody's going to disturb you. Uh, so these are really great places to finish your work. A few other locations I want to talk about is Groundworks. Uh, this is kind of the front door to the Dudesat Center media production spaces. And this is a public lab that anybody could walk in through the door and get help uh, on numerous projects they want to work with. Um, I've already talked about the recording booth back here in the corner, but we have other resources in here like a photography table. We have Wacom graphics tablets. We have scanners. But probably the most important thing in this space is we have student consultants. So when you come to Groundworks, if you have a question, you're not certain what application to use, we have people there that you can ask and they'll help you out. And the last space I want to talk about today is the Visualization Studio. And this is kind of the, the, uh, the VR space or version of Groundworks. And in this space, this is where you would go if you want to learn about VR, augmented reality, uh, if you want to do photometry, uh, try these tools out if you've never tried them before, like the Oculus Rift or the, uh, the Vive or the HoloLens. We have consultants in this space that will help you out. Uh, and they also have workshops throughout the semester if you want to learn more. Um, all these spaces uh, you can learn more about at our website, uh, dc.umich.edu, uh, as well as upcoming workshops, training, and contact info to staff for like the video studio, audio studios, or the, the, the visualization studio. There'll be information if you want to learn more about that. Uh, via the website. So uh, if you want to learn more after the session, talk to myself or any of the other staff here. We'd be happy to show you some of these spaces tonight even. Um, otherwise, my hand is back to Kathy. <laughs>